when someone could go to a public institution, why would they choose to come here instead? I think part of the reason or a major part of the reason is that the success of our graduates is our success, right? I mean, that is what the school essentially is all about. We want to educate them in the way that they are going to later on succeed in their career, whatever that career is going to be, right? Whether that is in business, whether this is in government, whether this is in NGOs, whatever, right? Because if they are successful, they're, first of all, they're going to talk about us, right? And say, hey, that was such a great experience, right? This really opened up doors for me. Uh, but second, I mean, this is also what we are seeing, right? Our graduates, our alumni are very active, co uh, the contributing uh, to the school, right? They are doing lectures with us, they are mentoring our students, they are opening doors in the companies that they're working for, right? So by the end of the day, Frankfurt School is a community. It's a vibrant international community. And that's not what you find uh, at a public university here. It, you know, I, going further into this idea, you know, that idea that the concept of like, if you have to pay f for something, you're a bit more invested in it versus if you get something for free, maybe you take it a bit for granted. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I don't want to uh, generalize that about people's school experience, but I think if like, if I had had the option to go to school for free, because when I finished school, I had a mountain of student loan debt. And that really in North America, that's, that, yeah. that's what you're going to be looking at. If I had the option to go for free versus paying for something, if I paid for something, I probably would have taken it quite serious right off the hop. I would have been very a very picky shopper about where I'm going to go. And I would have high expectations of my experience. When I was walking through the campus today, when you're taking Monica and I through the tour, I, like our minds were blown. This is a very beautiful campus, very student focused. Everything from like having uh, these like soundproof rooms so that you could do uh, these meetings and having these like, you know, these like uh, special little places where you can do phone calls, still these beautiful flex spaces. It really has the sense of a place where you're like, this is built for you so that you could be successful here. I don't know if. I mean, I certainly didn't experience that at, at university, and, uh, and I paid for university, but I didn't experience that back home. Well, thank you for noticing. I, I think that's, the, uh, that's really, really important, right? Uh, it's also this, this caring part and this caring about excellent part, right? And I think this is a, this is a constant struggle. I mean, you're mentioning the campus, right? I mean, uh, this is something that we have to actively work on, that it stays student-friendly, that we are also keeping that quality, right, each and every day, right? It's a, so that's, that's really important. Well, in so much of the through line of what we've talked about, and you voiced it, but also like I noticed it a lot, there's like a, I haven't had any experience in, in uh, public, uh, public institutions in, in Europe. This is, you know, my experience is solely in North America and then this school here. But the idea of caring is really, um, is a through line here. So when you and I have done uh, our professional work together, and then being here on camera, you know, kind of getting ready for the interview, there's a real intentionality about everything and like a real passion about what you do. And I don't know if I've ever really experienced that in a, in a post-secondary uh, setting like this. It's, it's like really inspiring to be here. Thanks. I mean, we're trying very hard. So if you're thinking about like an, from an experiential point of view, you can say things like, oh, caring is important here. But you as a leader and as, a, as an organization, how do you instill that in the experience? Like you can want it to be, but how, like you, you can want everyone to act with caring so that students have this incredible experience, but how do you actually make it so that it's such a part of the DNA of this organization? I think a, a big chunk of that is uh, communication, right? Um, that you have to say the same things again and again and again, even if you are tired of it, right? I think this was also, a big learning for me. It's something that I heavily underestimated at the beginning uh, of my, my term, right? I thought, okay, if I had said something once, right, people are going to get bored if they hear it two or three times. But you have to repeat things again and again to make the point. I think that's the first thing. The second uh, thing is that you have to also lead by example, right? I think that's also, you have to be a good role model uh, for things. So you also have to have this attention of detail to your own work. Right, uh, this focus, and I think that's important. And third, I mean, uh, we just mentioned this this morning. I think it's also about, I mean, how you onboard um, your um, your staff, your, how you onboard your team members. Right, that we spend some time thinking about, okay, how can we get across what Frankfurt School is all about, right, uh, in, in a formal way, but also in an informal way. Like, for example, running a reception uh, for all the new employees that we have here, so that they get exposed 
um, to, well, how, how we work and how we roll. When we've been walking through the school, we really talked about the evolution and like how it has truly, I know evolution is like such a term that's thrown around in, in all businesses, but this really has evolved and grown quite a bit. Can you tell us, just give us a brief overview of the history, but really specifically focusing on the past few years and how, how things have developed? Absolutely. I mean, we, we sometimes come across as a very young uh, institution, but we were actually founded back in the 1950s, uh, back then as a banking academy. And the whole point was, right, that back then banking was very non-academic. So you wanted to train people on the job as they progressed uh, in their career. And we offered the courses for example, like such a career path. Right, um, we did this extremely successfully all the way up to uh, the financial crisis by the end of the day. Right during the financial crisis, it became very, very clear that there's a massive strategy shift also in the financial industry. That ac uh, academic uh, reputation, academic education is becoming more important. Also, that the financial industry is becoming less dependent um, on having many, many jobs, for example. Right, and then we st started to shift gear. Um, so in the 90s, we already founded a very small academic institution just focusing on banking. And then after the financial crisis, we really said, okay, right, given some of these developments in our business environment, if we want to survive in the long term, we have to become a full-blown business school, right? That not just offers finance, but also management, and that really uh, on a top level. And that has been our journey so far, right? So, and part of that journey was, I mean, the new campus here in the middle of Frankfurt. Uh, we have a so-called triple crown accredited uh, institution. Uh, that means that we have all the relevant international uh, accreditation for business schools, ASCSB, ICWIS, uh, and AMBA. That's also kind of like a sign of our excellence. Um, hiring a lot of faculty during these years, and we have really grown quite a bit. Yeah. Um, and you have uh, quite a large international body as well, right? Yes. I mean, in our master's programs, right, 50% of our uh, students come from abroad. In the undergraduate level, it's uh, smaller, it's around 10%. But that's because of uh, some regulation here in Germany that in the past restricted our ability uh, to attract international students. Uh, but that has now changed, and we are also going to, I mean, see more international students also um, in our undergrad form. And I think that's part of the business school, right? That you have, I mean, folks from all over the world that you have this diversity and you celebrate this diversity and also this understanding that business should know no border. And I think that insight is truly important nowadays if you look around yourself. 